Before internet jump scares, there was a type of software that was just as devious as the infamous pranks that we are familiar with to this day. They were in a form of viruses and software, and the first instance was way back in the 90s. We're talking about scareware. Scareware comes in many forms, and many of us are familiar with the side of scareware that involves scams and malicious practices to scare people into giving their hard-earned cash to people who don't deserve it. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're deep diving into the prank side of scareware, where they made you leave a stain on your favorite pair of trousers. Buckle up, have an extra pair of shorts, and prepare to get scared as we look into the past at classic scareware that was shared and scared by many. Nightmare. Before my time, the Amiga personal computers were a tool that many used. You were able to load executables on this computer with the help of floppy disks. One piece of software you could have loaded was called Nightmare. Nightmare is a software that sits in the background of your PC for a few minutes after executing it. So by the time it is executed, you would be off guard working on another project. After around 5 minutes, a scary image of a skull with red liquid oozing down its cranium pops up with a spooky scream that would have made you jump out of your chair. This software was created by Patrick Evans from Ontario, Canada in 1991 and he freely gave the code away. Nightmare has been coined as the first scareware. McDonald's.exe. A more recent software slash virus, this one was created in the height of online scary pranks. When executed, the screen turns black and some Chinese text appears. Thanks to the Screamer Wiki, one of my sources for this video, they provided a translation of what it says. I'm a gastronome and I love to eat various kinds of delicacies. I can eat things that others aren't daring to eat all without hesitation. One day, a person said to me, There is one thing that you haven't been tried, and I dare you to try it. I answered back with recalcitration. Tell me now. There is nothing that I am afraid. It's a rough translation. <laughs> Human flesh. Have you tried it? He said. I have no words to tell. Of course, neither I have tried human flesh, nor I know where I can get it. In the evening, I'm using my computer and my wife sits beside me. Then I discovered that her skin was so bright and smooth. I asked her if she'd like to use a computer. She accepted tenderly. When I thought there was a chance, I picked up the cable of mouse suddenly. I watched her struggling without any mercy. After around 20 minutes, she stopped struggling. Finally, I reached my wish, but every day I cannot sleep well and always dreaming about her. Without her spirit beside my bed, with a pale face and a scar on my neck, she reached me with lips closed. I know I could cremate myself, just like a corpse from deadly diseases, and pour my bone ash along the streets for people to step on. Only then could I atone for a tiny bit of my crime. Is that story scary, dude? It is a part of a horror story. I'm wronged if you think that person is me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This has nothing to do with McDonald's, which makes this oddly peculiar. Why is McDonald's logo plastered all over this? Do they want the person who clicks on the executable to think that they'll be able to generate a gift card and have it shipped by Ronald McDonald himself? Uh, not quite sure. It's quite random, I must say. All of a sudden, a dialogue box appears. It has Chinese text written on it, with an email address with random characters, and a phone number. Strange, huh? Yeah, it's something I don't even want to bother with. So let's just click the X button and get back to work. Oh my god. Girl pops up with no eyes, and a scream can be heard. I'm loving it. A very spooky screamer. But here's the kicker. If you're unwise and not think of it, the face will keep popping up every two minutes until you close the software in the task manager. Ha! Nice one. Hikaru.exe 
This virus is a short and subtle one. It's very similar to McDonald's.exe, but it lacks the story. When you launch Hikaru.exe, nothing happens. Until when you least expect it. A scary face of a girl with no eyes and a subtle scream appears. This one also shared relations with another virus called Madoka.exe. Zero 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 dot exe. This screamer virus is based off of a creepy pasta. This virus was created by Flytech. Claimed to be from a sketchy website with a green background with a hyperlink of the three zeros. Once executed, you're introduced to a slideshow of images that play right in front of you. This was a way to distract you as the virus deletes everything off your computer in the background. The computer restarts and your account name is changed to your next. Then and you're introduced to a desktop that's black with a bunch of notepad files covering the screen with the name your next. Then dialog box appears causing spam on the screen. You'll also see a file that says open me. This is what's inside it. You are the next. I can see you. Now it's too late. I got you. I've been warned. Don't look behind you. So now, we look behind you. <coughs> oh yes, Giordano is right behind you. If you're into TikTok like I am, you'll know who Giordano is. Scareware can be scary, and I highly encourage you to not install these on your computer. I will not be linking these in the description. These viruses had a lasting impact on many of us, and a lot of PCs who had the misfortune of running the software. Is there an executable that scares you badly? Tell me in the comments below.